just gonna talk about how you know that nigga is running game. Now listen, not all of these necessarily mean if he do this one time that he's running game. I wanna make sure that's very, very good. But let's just be honest here. Some of these niggas ain't shit. Let's just be honest. And some of these niggas are good men, you know? But we ain't talking about the good ones, though. We talking about the not shit ones. So some of these just like, you know, one time, whatever. But it is, I'm talking about it's just a constant thing, you know? You know. Mm, you know. So don't look at me or don't nigga come at me talking crazy because I talk crazy back. So. Oh, but hey, if you to my channel, my name is Indy. I forgot to say all that, but you should already know that. Duh. So let's just get started. So on. this is for the girls who are talking to do like it's supposed to it's supposed to be just you and him. It's supposed to be just you and him or y'all are actually together. Okay, this ain't no just oh we flirting. I'm talking about this is you and him. Y'all working on you and y'all working on each other. That's what I'm talking about. You ask this nigga something and his first reaction is what you doing? Huh? What? Girl, he heard you. He heard you. When he said he trying to like ask questions or act confused, nine times out of ten, that nigga ain't gonna no damn confused. He know what you're talking about. He's trying to buy time. Hey, ain't no nigga finna just up and give himself away when you bring up something. He ain't finna just give himself up like, oh yeah. Oh no. He gonna play like stupid until you really come with some hardcore evidence, which is fine. Whatever you're talking about, he knows exactly what you're talking about. He heard you, he's not deaf. Cause if you said, oh, I'm about to go mess with another nigga, he would've heard that perfectly clear. But you asked him a question and his first thing is, huh, what you talking about? Ugh. I'm talking about one of the things you blatantly know, not one of the things we know, sometimes we know. Ladies, we get the summer sometimes. But I'm talking about some shit that you know for a fact. You see, like, you, it's clear as day ever. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I keep looking at myself. It's clear as day, evidence, point blank period, in your face. And he's, what are you talking about? Huh? What? The eyes get, getting all shifty and beady. He's running gay. Let me tell you, let me tell you how niggas work. Dance in here trying to get all this information to see how much you know. Because you might not know everything. So he needs to see how much he you know to see what he needs to like focus on. Because he ain't finna tell you everything and you ain't know about everything. You just do about one part. You know what I'm saying? Niggas are very calculated. Niggas are very smart. Niggas not gonna tell them themselves. They're not going to tell them themselves. Ever. Ever. Don't get me wrong. Not all every dude who does this is running game. Now make sure that's very, very clear. You have to know what type of dude you're dealing with. That be the, you know what, ladies, real quick. That be the problem. Sometimes you don't really know who you're dealing with. You think you do. You think you do, but you really don't be knowing who you're dealing with. You don't know who this nigga. You really don't know who this nigga is. You really don't know who this nigga is. You really, really. Don't. So this one right here, this is not all the time, but once again, you gotta know the type of dude you're dealing with. Like sometimes nicknames are not a sign of endearment. Sometimes nicknames are given from men to women so he won't confuse or mix up next. If you didn't know that, now you know. Like, don't look at me crazy like, man, no. Oh, niggas do that. Niggas do that all the time. It was just dude. And he never called me by my name, bro. Like, we was never like that. He just kept trying to talk to me and I just wasn't feeling that. Because I knew he won't shit. Like, I knew he won't shit. I can say he won't shit. I knew he won't shit. Like, I knew he won't shit. See what's up, nigga. This is it. Okay. Hey, I ain't had nothing else to do. My other nigga won't act right. So, <laughs> yeah, why not? But anyway, he always called me Red. He never said India. He never called me India. It was always Red. From the day I met him to the day I stopped talking to this dude. Red. Red. He got me red because when he first met me, I had red. So he always called me red. Another reason why I knew he won't shit and like the nickname thing was a sign of like he trying to run game. When I see him with other people or you know, I saw him with other girls, he always called me by a nickname. Yep. Yeah, he won't shit. So it's just like that ain't said every dude because that's not, you know. 
realistically not every dude does that but you know some dudes do that hey some girls do that but we i ain't talking about us ladies i'm talking about these niggas so you know is a dead giveaway this niggas run a game don't even like why every time if he with you that phone is face down why is your phone face down bro that is a like for what for what and be realistic when you have your phone face down why is that like for you why do you have your phone face down so why that would be different for a nigga why is, like that phone face out every time y'all together that phone is face down he's running game bitch because this is like if y'all two the only is it's just you and him right just you and him you him him you right and y'all together and every time y'all together this phone he, the first thing that he put that phone down is because when text messages come through or calls or whatever he don't want you to ever see who the fuck calling but my thing is, well, who the fuck calling? Do you know what I'm saying? You're being suspicious and you're hiding things. It's just basically like a clue of I'm hiding some shit. And I don't want to hear no, no, oh, that ain't what it means. What the fuck has to mean to you? gotta realize with dudes, you gotta watch what they do. You, why is your phone face down? That is very, that's when you're trying to hide some shit. Trust me, I know. I don't know. Been there, done that. So it's just like, if that phone is always face down, that nigga's running game. Cause I mean, he's something in that phone. He's texting or calling or so, somebody at any given moment could call or text that phone that he don't want you to know about. Cause that's the case. Why is you act if, if it's nothing? You just throw the phone wherever. Who gives a fuck if it's upside down, fit for? You wouldn't give a fuck. But the fact that you you make sure that that phone is face down. Mm 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 mm. Hell no. I know. I know. I'm a retired player. I know. I know. I know. Here's a little thing you could do, right? Now, if it don't work, no, nah, I know damn well. Come here. Let me talk to you. Let me get a little close to you. Let me talk to you. Me. So, you want to do something, you know, I mean, hey, so this is kind of my game, but whatever, fuck it. Now, once again, this is for my ladies that you and this nigga touch me, you and him, just you and him. You want to know if it's really you and him? Really? This is what you do. Because everybody is so big on posting who they fucking with, right? Right. Whatever, I guess. Now, you don't gotta have no intentions on posting anything, but just make him feel like you are, right? Follow me. Randomly, just randomly, pull that phone out and try to record or take a picture, right? If this nigga ducks, or like, whoa, or try to move, or don't want his face in it. Baby, you, you know this nigga is running game and you are not the only one. Why does it matter if people see you with your girl? That woman knows it. So. Try that shit. And if that nigga duck, that nigga duck like duck duck goose to elementary school, he is running game on you. It's like, cause that don't even make no sense. If it's just you and him, why the fuck would it matter if y'all take a picture together? If it's just you and him, why does it matter if y'all got a video together? That wouldn't matter. But if, I'm trying to tell you, if he duck, hold his face, move, like don't want to look at the camera, like all right, go ahead with all that. I bet. I bet you, I bet you my last dollar, which, you know, hey, I kind of wouldn't bet you my last dollar, even though I know it worked, but I kind of need my last dollar. But I bet you that nigga is not just talking to you. I promise you that. That's equivalent to snatching a nigga phone and running. And if that nigga run after your ass like a quarterback, you need to get that nigga back to the streets because no, snatch that phone and run. He run after your ass, like, his life depends on it. If he sit back and watch you look stupid, 
then you just have to take that L and look stupid. <laughs> this is only if you got like suspicious or you just think he run a game. That's a, that's gonna be a dead giveaway. Cause if he ain't run a game or he ain't messing around you, that that little shit, that that little shit, just like girl, you look stupid. Sit your ass down. If you do do this, I hope you catch him and you really, 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 really know that he's really doing some shit. Not because you really fight him. Some of you bitches are. Some of y'all bitches are a little psycho. Just a little, a little delusional. So, don't lose all the good man because you fucking delusional. No, I'm talking about y'all who you, you know, yo nigga. You know. If this nigga appears, then he disappeared. Then he come back around another week later. Then he disappeared. And then he back around. Uh-uh. He is running game, no. Because a man who fucks with you, if this y'all too, why would he not be consistent with you? A nigga that's fucking with you and only you, he's gonna be talking to you and only you. Ain't no nigga that's only fucking with one female gonna go weeks without talking, months without talking. If he appears and disappears, he hit one day, go the next day, he overheats, he hot, cold. No. He is running game. He has multiple women, or these two. Because when he's not fucking with you, he's fucking with her. Is he hearing or not? Ain't no appearing and disappearing. That's a dead giveaway. Because what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Nigga, you know that really really care about a female he it's just him and her he want her and whatever they he really want to be with her whatever the fuck the case is he gonna keep going missing weeks at a time months at a time no nigga you got one time to just see on my ass one time and we ain't got shit else to talk about because whatever you choosing over talking to me and dealing with me you can keep that you can have it you don't get to pick and choose the, when you're going to deal with a female. You don't get to pick and choose that. You don't get to come and go as you please. The fuck? This ain't no drive through my house. You don't get to come around and come back around and go with people come back. No. None of that. He is running game, bitch. He is running that game. On him. And her. And her over there. And her down the street, too. If he cannot define what y'all have you my lady I want you I want you to be my girlfriend I want or he did well I want you to be my girlfriend you like you're my woman like we are together we are in a relationship if he can't say that anything other than that means y'all ain't together all right <laughs> so he is running game if he cannot sit up here even though he might make you feel like y'all working on it and say all this shit and all this Boyfriend, girlfriend, shit. If he can't define what the fuck y'all have, then y'all really don't have shit. If we just being honest. Because a man that's with a woman, oh, he's gonna make sure you know he's, that's my one. Y'all know how niggas be. Niggas be so damn possessive. Like, this is my one. So if he can't sit here and say, like, we in a relationship, you and me, boyfriend, girlfriend, we are together. He run a game, I don't give a fuck what he make you feel like. I don't give a fuck what the fuck he make you feel like. <laughs> no. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Let me tell you something about a nigga. If he's single, he's single. You better believe that. Until in a relationship, a nigga's gonna be single. And women need to act the same way. And see, he asks you to be his girlfriend and you say yes, you are single. And you better act as such. Cause ain't no nigga finna act like he only fucking with one bitch if he's single. He gonna mess with multiple until he's in a relationship. That's just period. Yeah, I know when y'all around each other, he make you feel like, oh, you know, I know what he can text you. I know what he can do for you. But at the end of the day, if he's not claiming that, claiming you, bitch, that ain't your man. <laughs> That's kind of just like, duh. Because if y'all was thing, what's so hard about saying, girl, you know you my girlfriend. Simple. Say anything like, What's understood ain't gotta be explained. That dumb shit people be talking about. Or, you know, you know what you and me, what you and me do is between us, you know what I'm saying? I don't like everybody in my business. Girl, don't believe that shit. Do not believe that shit. <clears throat> shit. Mm. What he's really saying is, girl, you know I don't want everybody to know about us because I it, it's, I got other girls. I'm, I'm making them feel the same way I'm making you feel. I don't want everybody to know about us because, hell, I got other bitches. That's basically what he's saying. I don't want everybody in my business. A grown ass man who's really messing with you is never gonna say that. 
a grown man is gonna know the difference between letting people know I'm in a relationship and this is my woman compared to this is what's going on in my relationship. You know, it's a difference. Don't let no nigga tell you that shit. Do not let no nigga tell you run that stupid game. I ain't telling you shit that I made up at the crack of my ass. This ain't no shit. This, like I said, this is some shit I've experienced. I mean, shit, hell. Whatever. Nobody tells you about the shit I did. I had to learn it the hard way. And I'm, you know, I'm glad I learned the way I learned. Because hell, you can't be a player until you be in on the other side. You know, I hate when people be like, I'm a player. I don't get played. Every real player that got played, you don't learn the game from watching. You learn the game from experience. You can't be a coach until you've been a player. You know what I'm saying? So, just think of me as your coach. I, so, hey. But you know, with all that being said, okay, Jesus. The win. Come on now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe. Smooth toes.